hey, this is kind of cool. We have an aerial drone shot. Who's Ariel? That's my that's my wife's favorite Disney character. <laughs> photo, photo adventures is on the road. Welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures, everybody. My name is Chris. I'm Jason. And we are here to show you the complete Nelson Rig rock steady setup for camping on your motorcycle. The Hurricane Series. That's right. And I absolutely love this setup. It really cleans the bike up. I don't have to have like a messy duffel or anything like that. And everything is compartmentalized, you'll see as we go along. Now what you have to remember is the Hurricane line came out a couple of years ago. Yep, yep, and yep. we all got outfitted with these new styles with the gray stripe down the side. And you can tell visually that it's the new series because this really cool design, the, the gray stripe, as uh -huh. well as the air valves. Correct. And those are the new ones. But they came out with a new piece. But let's go through the other stuff as a review first. Oh, a lot of new stuff. They've mm. come out with some new stuff. They're very innovative. We really love Nelson Rig. Mm -hmm. And we released a video about uh, all three of our bikes mm -hmm. getting set up. So go back and check those out. Uh, we'll insert a link for you as well. But one of the new pieces I want to start off with is this new adventure tank bag that they have absolutely love this thing it's beautiful it's a, a really neat design because the new aprilia touareg 660 has this high um angled gas filling thing yes. yeah it's called a tank but anyway <laughs> the old nelson rig kit and most of the other uh, bags that i've had are basically just boxes that set up here and got strapped on the design of the new one with the angle is absolutely brilliant so it sits very very nicely on here straps down really tight um, and it's out of the way. If you haven't seen our trip to uh, mm -hmm. the Panhandle Adventure Trail, I had the old one, which was actually bigger. It was 11 liters. How and much is this one? This one's eight. Okay. The old one, uh, when you stand up and you're riding off road, it kind of hits we you. We nicknamed it the Nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, replace that uh, with this one, and I'm absolutely in love with it. It has a nice little, uh, uh, window on the top so mm -hmm. I can keep maps and things like that. We have our QR code so people can see our bike and like our channel. Uh, yep. But I really like that. It's a really neat design. And I usually keep all my electronics, all my GoPros and all that stuff go up here. And it's helpful because these are water, would you say waterproof Absolutely. or water resistant? I mean, you can't submerge it. Yeah, maybe not. But if it's raining, yeah, we're good to go. It's waterproof, yeah. yes. yes. I, I don't know, because the, the zippers are YKK zippers. They're sure, sure. really, really nice, Water high has quality. a way of finding its way. But yeah, they have That's these it. neoprene uh, yeah. sleeves that go over the zipper. So if you're just riding in torrential rains, I've never had any of these get, Correct. Um, Same. get wet. That's right. Uh, but you're right, if you dump the bike, I would imagine that probably your least worry is going to be water getting in your... <laughs> <laughs> your, your tank that's, bag. That's true. More more about water getting into your engine yes, than your tank bag. Yeah. We do uh, carry a lot of electronics, which is not normal for an adventure rider. So we have to take these things into consideration. And all of the Hurricane, by uh, a clue by its nomenclature, uh -huh. is waterproof. And so all of these little gadgets and gadgets are, are cool. And uh, what they, what you see here is what we've decided to use. They have a number of different assortments and variations on the theme. Mm -hmm. So you can pick and match and Absolutely. to what you're trying to bring. Before I got mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. I had a big 40 liter Hurricane duffel bag and that's mm -hmm. where I carried a lot of my and it accessories. Was, did, stuff. You, did you do it long way or did you do it sideways? I usually did it long way. Okay. So it was a mm -hmm. little, bit, little bit longer, a little bit yep. bigger than that. But we'll come back to that. That's a really cool piece. We'll come oh, yeah, back yes, to yes, that. Yes. Okay. Then. You mentioned riding in water and rain and stuff like that. I did. Guess where I keep my rain gear for myself? In the uh, rain side yeah, pocket, yeah, these crash these bar bag ba bags right here, yes. absolutely. Yeah, these are the little crash bar bags, and they are brilliant. Uh, one on each side. I have one on each side, so my pants go on one side, my jacket goes on the other side, and a couple of little other accessories, some spare gloves, you know, things mm. like that, that I can access really, really quick. So if we are riding along and we see a big storm coming up, mm -hmm. we can pull under an, an overpass and. Tell us what you keep in your crash bar bags, because I do it a little bit differently. I keep, depending on the um, the time of year, in the winter time, wet gear, rain gear, and cold gear. In the summertime, I put rain gear and bike cover. 
oh. because it's more apt to terrain and I can grab it really quickly when we get to a spot where I need to put it, cover it up, point. like a hotel or whatever. I, it's, I don't yeah. have to dig. Yep. So it just depends on what's going on. Yeah, bike cover is an excellent idea. Keep yep. one of those. That's yep. right. Very cool. Then you don't have to worry about, you know, if the bike cover is the only thing in there and you're stuffing it in there after it rained one night, you don't really have to worry about it mildewing something else yeah. inside that bag. And that's why I do that way. After a rain, if you've had your bike covered and you stuff that in there, when you get to your campsite, do you take it out yeah, and air it out? Yeah, you take it back out, cover your bike again, and it, it airs, <laughs> it airs out. itself out. <laughs> <laughs> well, moving on back, uh, uh -huh. let's continue on. The saddlebags uh -huh. are absolutely brilliant. I really like them. I've got them attached to the quick release plate. So I That's literally brand new, by the way. Pull a little lever and, uh, well, not yet. They're still coming. But, uh, well, these... I'm saying it's a brand new, a brand new thing that they're working on is this quick release plate. They, which is really nice. Nelson Rig does have their own quick release plate. I'm still using an old one. They haven't sent me this, the, the new uh, quick release plate yet. It it's, works the same way. You can attach the bag to this quick release plate and then you just press a lever and pull it off and you don't have to sit there and strap it down every time you want to go what on a, a camping trip. Yeah, it takes like, you know, 45 minutes to sit there and do all the straps mm -hmm. if you don't have the quick release plate. With the quick release plate, I just... It's done. Yep, that's and on the way. It's awesome. But personally, when I'm camping, just I get a lot of questions about what I bring and stuff like that. But this right here is my wardrobe. My my toiletry kits, all my clothes, all of that stuff goes into that. So uh, is this the one that you bag. grab to go to the hotel? Yeah. So you so. your tank bag with your electronics and that bag come off and go inside? Correct. Yeah. I do the same basic thing with mine. I have a tank bag and then I have the um the backpack uh, mm -hmm. from nelson rig mm -hmm. and that carries all of my same items toiletries and and clothes and chargers and things like that that i could just grab and go inside you grab the backpack and go inside and yep. you're done that's right yeah. that's right you have to think about these things you know because if you do it every day for a 10-day trip it, it, it becomes a little annoying yes. yeah so, so that works make it efficient the other side you know matches the other uh saddlebag but on this side is all of my camping gear and it's unbelievable. If you guys haven't seen it already, you need to make sure you check out Ben and Mary mm, at Moto, Moto Camp, Camp Nerd. Nerd. You know, whether it's tents or sleeping bags or, you know, cook mats, gear. cook gear. They've curated all of those items on the market that are good quality, good price, and super compact and super lightweight because that's what motorcyclists need. Yep. You so whether you're on a bicycle or a motorcycle, it works perfectly. Correct. But you, you remember the old days of your Coleman tent. I mean, the pegs are this mm -hmm, long, the, the, the mm -hmm. sticks are this long. I've got a, 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 a big Agnes tent that literally fits lengthwise in this side. Nice, it's nice. really cool. And of course, my sleeping bag and, and uh, my sleeping mat and all that stuff. So this whole side is my bedroom, basically, my house. Awesome. On the ends down here, you might the angle, you might not be able to see it as well, <clears throat> but you have the bottle holders from yep. Nelson Rig, and mm -hmm. those are Molly, and they have, we have all of the Molly on uh -huh. all of the bags, and so it's you put uh, fuel in one and water in the other, or whatever sure. it is that fits in there. Yep, I've got fuel in one side, and the other side has chain kit. Oh, so a cleaning kit. Chain lube, a little bit of WD-40. Uh, actually, my tire spoons are in that one as well. And then the front has a, a bag already. When you buy the uh, mm -hmm. Hurricane uh, saddlebags, they do have a water bottle carrier already on there. So I've got water on both of those. Yeah, this little guy on the back is absolutely ph phenomenal. It's the Adventure uh, tail bag. Um, they have a, a dual sport one as well that's a little smaller. Uh, Nelson Rig has had a tail bag for a long time, but it hasn't had the new uh, Hurricane setup. Um, so it doesn't have the waterproofing. The new one is completely waterproof, just like the other Hurricane Rig Gear mm -hmm. bags. I absolutely love this thing. It is massive. It's well thought out. Pockets. Has pockets to put various accessories in. Now, one of the things I do like about this new design, rather than the soft duffel that you had, mm -hmm. is the solid sides. Yeah. Because it stays upright. And again, we put electronics and stuff in here, and in your old duffel, you would had to you had to put a protective case inside the soft bag. Mm -hmm. In here, you can just throw stuff in there. Correct. Yep. 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 And being photographers and videographers and YouTubers and stuff like that, I have my complete Nikon setup in here and my drone in here. 
and some spare gloves and some other things at the bottom. It has a really neat little strap down system at the bottom. So uh, if you want to do uh, different layers, you could put like a, a blanket or a oh, inside jacket or something like that at the yeah. bottom okay. and strap cool. it down so that you have a separate compartment. That's neat. But I uh, am super, super happy with this. And we have to thank Kyle from uh, Nelson Rig for letting us test this out on this trip. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to get some abuse. It's going to get some trials, Which and is what's supposed to happen. we're going to test it for sure. Look Already at, look yesterday, that. you know, weaving through all of the massive trucks on uh, I-77, mm. uh, it was, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so it was buffeting all over the place, but it is super solid, really solid tie downs. No matter how perfectly you've got your bike packed and ready for an adventure, it only takes a split second for somebody to run you off the road. If that ever happens to you, I recommend that you call our friend Rick Stewart at scmotolawyer.com. Rick is a motorcycle traveler and adventurer like us, and he gets it. So I'm gonna put his information up on the screen here, and I recommend that you do a screen grab with your phone, and that way you'll have it in your back pocket if you ever need it. I like um, this little extra thought though. On the back of the, the tank bag and on these new ones, there are grab handles. Yeah. So it's the whole hotel theory Correct. for me. It's just, you know, go. Grab it and go. Now, one thing that, ha that you do need to notice, and it's not, a, it's not a negative, it's just something to be aware of. When you zip these up, they are good quality zippers and everything, but they have this neoprene mm -hmm. overlay uh -huh. so they keep you know, even more waterproofness. But when you zip these up, sometimes you'll say to yourself, ooh, that's too hard to zip up. But what you're doing is you're cross zipping it. So make sure that the zipper is on the outside of that lip before yep. you try to zip it up. And that way it's super, super, super simple to get. See right there, I stopped. So you have to make sure that that's on the outside so that the waterproofness is perfect. And then once you got that done, then you push the neoprene yes, down. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Everything and it's very tight fit. If you use that system where you always flip the neoprene up when you're doing the zipper, yep. they're super easy. And don't forget about the 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 lip balm yeah, idea. Yeah, when you yeah, get yeah. sand and grit, <laughs> put a little chapstick on the edge there yeah. and everything works out fine. Yeah. That's not a Nelson rig tip. That's a moto photo tip. I'm just yeah, saying. yeah, yeah. That's for when you've had your bag for, you know, five, ten years. Yeah. And, you, <laughs> and, and the zippers dirt. are getting a little rusty and, and dirty. Just put some lip balm around yep. it and it'll make them go smoother. So thanks to Nelson Rig again for doing it all over again and helping us out and, get, and putting these things together for us and, and coming out with new stuff oh, all, the all the time. It's is just, you know, that's refreshing to see a company putting the effort into yes. making things a little bit better, giving you a little bit more options, hearing the feedback from the client and putting those into practice. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. And while you're editing later, mm -hmm. just so you know, if, mm -hmm. if the camera is jiggling, it's because you're doing this. Oh, I'll make sure I put the jiggle up there. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah, you have to remember, I missed a lot of pop culture advertisements because I was true. in Africa. Well, that's why we you're with TV. me. I can catch you up. <laughs> well, hey, guys, we really appreciate you watching. Uh, that's the full Nelson Rig kit on the Aprilia Touareg 660. Uh, Sahara is super happy with it. Everything is compartmentalized. And when you get to camp, you know exactly which bag to grab to do what. Mm. Uh, and it's all waterproof, so don't have to worry about stopping in the rain if you don't want to. And mm. we're heading to the Wayland Wayne weekend, so... Hopefully we will see you there. Hopefully, and you'll probably see this after we get back, obviously. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and in the comments section, do me a favor, say, hey, Kyle. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody. Photo, photo adventure.